Hey, welcome back. So tonight, you know, it's no secret Sherman Williams is, you know, no longer stock. So I'm going to be mixing up using Deep Bass 8300 by Bear. Um, I will say the first takes for this when I open the can is that it is thicker than the Sherman Williams, like really thick. So, um, and I'll show you a comparison with Sherman Williams because Sherman Williams is actually, it, it flows off the stick a little bit better straight out of the can versus this. And well, with that being said, that means you can, we would have to, you know, pay more attention to our ratios. Um, cause a lot of people are, they're used to the Sherman Williams or other, uh, bases that are a little bit runnier than the bear. Um, so here we are, you know, once you start this up a little bit, I mean, it kind of flows off the stick just a little bit better than that. I mean, the bear kind of reminds me of a stopped up nose almost, but I mean, with the uh, Sherman Williams, as you can see, it's a little bit runnier than the bear. Um, and that's normally what I use is the Sherman Williams. I still have a gallon container of it, thankfully. So, you know, at least I, I have that for now. Um, and I figured tonight I will mix up some golden fluid acrylics and a tube paint. That way it kind of gives you a little bit of both. Um, if you are using pigments, they're going to be probably the same as a fluid for the most part. Um, but we'll get into this right now. First one I'm going to use is uh, Golden's Primary Magenta. And I'm going to start off by probably doing about two parts to one part Josanya's varnish. Um, my measuring spoon tonight is, it is a teaspoon. So there you go. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of the bear to one teaspoon Josanya and see where we are after we mix it all up. And you know, depending on the paints, like metallics, usually metallics are thicker, at least, you know, in the tube form or yeah, in the tube form of it. So you might actually have to use a little bit more Josanya or something to, um, actually thin it down now fun fact is you know after you do your two parts and your one part and you know everything is kosher or if you wait a week or a day depending on your weather you know you might want to thin it down again you don't necessarily have to use Josanya you can I actually sometimes I use just regular American Floetrol to thin it up a little bit haven't had any issues with it so that is a little bit cheaper so here's my one part Josanya that I just added to my two parts bare and I'm gonna try to get all the little rest of it out of the stick and then um, yeah we're gonna stir it up and we'll see how the pouring medium looks after it's all mixed up you know make sure you get the bottom of it and the sides the edges and all that you know just make sure everything's nice and mixed um, I mean right now for the most part I'm kind of liking the way it's looking at least whenever I am uh, mixing it up and it leaves about I don't know two to three second probably not three but probably like a two second ring before it goes away now adding the fluid acrylic you know it might you know it, it might thin it down a little bit just because it is fluid if that's the case if you wanted to thicken it up a little bit just add just a hair of bear I mean it might even be you might want to do like two and a half parts bear to one part Josanya. Um, normally whenever I am mixing up fluid acrylics, I'll put like maybe five drops or so, stir it around, see what the color looks like. If I don't like the color, if I want it darker or, you know, richer, I guess, I will add a couple more drops, stir it in and just keep going, you know? So that is basically how I mix up my fluid acrylics. And I mean, it's probably a little bit on the runnier side, but again, I only use two parts to one part, uh, Josanya. So, I mean, I probably could add it a little bit more, like, like I said, two and a half parts bare to one part Josanya. Um, and you might even get it to three parts bare, but we're, we're not going to play picky with this because due to the fact that my weather is the way it is, 
a little runny won't kill me just because probably in a couple hours it's going to be thicker than what it is currently so i'm going to leave it like that and call that one good so we're going to put the lid on it and we're going to go to the tube paint which i believe i'm just going to uh, use that yellow that you see by liquid Tex. So again, starting off with two parts bare to one part Josanya, and we'll see where we get with that. And towards the end of the video, you know, or after I get everything mixed up, I'm also going to mix up the cell activator. Um, I want to show you that the colors do work and they do stretch out and everything like that. I may not like the colors, but hey, it's all about showing, right? So. Here we are. This is my second part. It's a little bit more. There's a little bit of heaping, but it's okay. Um, so again, here comes the one part Josanya. Um, and again, everything's you know, like my one part. I mean, you technically you can do a little bit of a heaping because you know it makes a little bubble on the top of the uh, measuring spoon. And so you know it you could be doing that and it could help could also you know not help depending on what you're doing but for the most part right now it's two to one again get all the sides and everything make sure everything's just mixed together really good um, as you can see due to the fact that one of my uh, bare uh, one of my parts of my bare was a little bit of a heaping so it is a little bit thicker than the last one but it's okay we're gonna add the paint in now when you add your paint I mean honestly this is at least tube paint um, depending on what brand you're using everything like that um, it really depends but mainly you just do it doesn't take much at least when you're making smaller amounts it's just like a I don't even know what you want to call it. Just like a little old squirt. That's all it really takes. Um, if you do mix it all up and you do like a bloom or something and you get, um, I'm not going to attempt that word, but like if it flocks, like the pigments break down or something like that, it could be there's not enough pigment in the paint. So that means you need to add a little bit more paint to that particular color. Um, as you can see, after adding the tube paint, it's a little thicker than the fluid. I mean, could I work with that? I probably could, but I want the those to be the kind of the same consistency. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit more Josanya to thin it up to try to match. And it doesn't take much, um, but just mix it all in really good. And that should do it for those two colors um, yeah see it's almost just like the fluid one so I'm happy with this one I'm gonna call it done uh, I do have another color that I mixed up with bear that I, I didn't record but it was from yesterday uh, it's the red violet by Joe Sonia it's this color right here um, that one I don't it I don't know it seemed like it was a little thicker back when I made it so I actually thinned that one down with American flow troll because I just didn't want to keep putting Josanya in it um, so yeah that one was two parts to one part bear and Josanya and then probably you might as well even just say a part of um, American flow troll I'm not saying that as a recipe for it but you can use the American Flow Troll to thin the paints down after you've made it with Josanya and everything else. So here we're going to go ahead and do Australian Flow Troll. I'm going to use three parts to one part paint. Now I will say this like that one right there. That was a heaping one so you know that might be three, three and a half. You never know. Um, and from there I normally would use either like Amsterdam oxide black or Payne's gray or or uh, titanium white like that one and I was going to use white but then I kind of looked over and I thought well 
what about this teal color by golden so went ahead and use this and you know I will say this so with this it's I won't call it one but you know golden paints they kind of go a little farther than other brands so I'm gonna call that one part paint um, and one thing I did cut out uh, sitting here staring it because my goodness this took a while to mix in it's like it got clumpy which I've seen that with some brands uh, but I'm not I wasn't used to that just because with the Amsterdam colors they pretty much mix up pretty good as you can tell it gets a little chunky in there so if your paint does that you know you just keep on stirring on it and stirring and stirring until you get all those chunks worked out and everything's kind of like I don't know like a cream almost but I did take that out and you know for the most part whenever I'm going up against the sides I can tell this this it's gonna work and so here's the consistency consistency of that I mean it's it's thin um, but yeah when I'm rubbing up the stick against the sides of the plastic container I can see the cells forming on the side and normally if they don't form on the side as it tries to seep back down into the puddle it's not gonna work at least from my experience um, and now since that's created and all the colors are made with the bare products I'm gonna go ahead and get everything squared away and bring up the box and yeah we're gonna do this so this color is a uh, TLP nightfall uh, normally I don't know I thought purple might go with this color with you know yellow and magenta and teal but we'll see how it goes that's actually was mixed with my normal Sherman Williams so here is the bare mixture of primary magenta as you can see there's the the consistency of it still surprisingly it didn't change in the 20 minutes of doing this <laughs> um, so with this one it's gonna be a, a little bit of a blowout and then I'm gonna kinda after this first one I'm just gonna try to speed up the process I mean it's just me just playing around just because I wanted to and you know I'm one of those people I'm very picky and if I don't like what I get it's just I'm gonna scrape it but that's me that's just me um, so we went with the yellow this red violet which you can see with that one was kind of thick so I probably could have thinned that one down just a little bit here's cell activator uh, teal my golden just do a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out there's too much paint on there but you know I was just trying to show you what's what's going on make sure everything works uh, I've only used like a teal turquoise type cell activator once before a long long time ago and I have it as like a coaster on our nightstand and actually I like it but I never used that cell activator before and I kind of blew too hard right here in the center because I can see like a little bit of a white of the base paint coming through um, but it all works I mean if you if you're if, I mean minus the color scheme color scheme just seems awful but it did work cell activator worked the colors worked everything worked um, right now I'm trying to blow on that little center part where there's a little bit of cell activator left over um, past that I'm gonna cover up my corners and uh, spin it just to see what we get and then I'm gonna keep on playing so here we go spin it out and I mean yeah spun out everything worked here's your little close-up of it sorry about the colors but I mean yeah anybody be happy with the bloom some people might even be happy with the colors but I'm gonna pour over it so here we are um, what I learned in my first lesson is that red violet likes to take over this I decided to add a little bit of TLP mermaid to it and boog boogie I believe either way it's so orange the yellow you know trying to go for that sunset vibe in a way magenta and I'm just gonna keep on playing 
Um, pretty much went ahead and did that with a little bit more TLP mermaid on there. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but I just want to play just to see how the teal cell activator works, at least with these colors. Um, and you know, if you are sitting here playing and or you mix up your colors and they're thicker than the rest or anything like that or something's thinner or thicker, more than likely it's thicker. You can thin it down. The only thing I would say is just watch the bubbles. I mean, they can really be a pain in the butt when it's drying because it's going to go down to more than likely the uh, base color. But if you're not worried about bubbles and you're just sitting here just wanting to play, stir away, thin it out, and keep rolling. Um, this one, I, I mean, it, it's okay. Um, the center part, just trying to blow and, and you know, try to get as many cells as you can get. And honestly, I probably just try to use the Eho blow dryer on this one just to see if anything were to happen. And just spin it a little bit and see what we get. Again, can't complain. Everything works. Um, I am going to pour over this one too. Sorry. Um, the next one, I'm probably going to play a little bit. Um, I know some people, they kind of like to just sprinkle their colors out and swipe here, swipe there, swipe everywhere and see what they get different. But yeah, that's what I want to do with this one. I sped this one up just because the process and everything's really slow and you know, it, it the main thing is to make sure that everything works. So again, just check your consistencies, the cell activator. If your paints are like you put your cell activator on top of your paints and it immediately goes away. Well, that means your cell activator was really, 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 really thin and your paints were thin as well. So you kind of, I don't know, they, they kind of have a, got to have a some type of relationship where they don't sink as fast or get you a tool and just swipe. I mean, it's, it's going to create the cells. Now, that if they, if your cells, after you stretch them out, and or they dry and they disappear as they get closer to the outer edges of your surface then your cell activator needs more paint um, the more paint that's in the cell activator the thicker the cells will be and the easier they are to stretch to the edge of the surface that you're painting but yeah like I said if they're disappearing or they're thinning out and kind of fading out then there's not enough paint in the cell activator but hopefully this helps um you know funny enough <laughs> i kind of i left this one on my spinner after instead of taking it off and setting it on something to dry overnight i was just like well i was just playing anyway and i'm just gonna leave it on the spinner and see what it looks like in the morning i actually like the way it dried i mean i mean it dried like this for the most part and you know it, it has its characteristics to it. So I will get you down for a closer look here in a second. And I mean, yeah, everything worked. So here you are. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you would like. Um, and I'm just pointing out, I didn't really like that corner just because it it's offset from the others. But anyway, take care.